Tell the Johnsons that I sent you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Hazel, uh, uh, who was that? Oh, that's just a little fellow looking for odd jobs. His name's Willie. Why? What's the matter? <laughs> I've seen him someplace. I can't quite place him, though. But I have a vague feeling he was in some kind of trouble. Well, he's out of work and he's hungry. I guess that's enough trouble. Doggone it. Where have I seen him before? Well, I don't know, unless you've been in Duck Run, Iowa. And happen to know a cow named Bueller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful dinner, Hazel. Oh, good. Perfect. Chicken and dumplings were just great. Well, I'm glad you liked them. I'll get you pie now. Can I have two pieces of pie, Hazel? Oh, sure you can, Floyd. But only one at a time. <laughs> did you tell your dad how well you did in your geography test today? Well, go on, tell him. Yes, he had an almost perfect score, George. We had to name the capitals of all the states, and I only missed one, South Dakota. Well, good for you. That's just fine. Do you know the capital of South Dakota, Dad? Me? Well, of course I do. I could probably name all of them if we had time, but uh, we don't. <laughs> South Dakota. That's the only one I missed. Hazel said she bet you wouldn't know it either. Oh, she did, did she? Well, that's ridiculous. It's, uh... Well, of course it is. Your father knows Pierre is the capital of South Dakota. <laughs> and I'm glad you asked me, son. Pierre is the capital of South Dakota, and remember that the next time. <laughs> He's smarter than I thought he was, isn't he? Very well informed. <laughs> hey, Ashford. Oh, is that the buzzer? No, that's probably Willie. I told him to come over for a piece of pie. Oh, no. You mean that little hobo's hanging around for a handout? Oh, Mr. B, he's practically our neighbor now. He did such a good job for the Johnsons, they're keeping him on. He's going to sleep in their garage. Dorothy, I'm telling you that I've seen that Willie character somewhere before, and I can't figure out where. Besides, I have an uneasy feeling about him. Well, I've got an uneasy feeling about him, too. I'm afraid he'll eat my other piece of pie. <laughs> I hope my telephone call didn't interrupt your work. No, I'm just finishing up the breakfast dishes. What's this important thing you want to show me? See? It's functioning. Well, I'll be done. That clock hasn't run since I first knew you people. What happened? Willie repaired it. And now it's in perfect order. Each tick followed by a talk, which in turn is followed by another tick. That's completing the cycle. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, do you have a screwdriver? Oh, hi, Hazel. Hi, Willie. I hear you're a clocksmith along with everything else. Huh? Oh, that. Oh, that. Not much. Why, that clock just needed a good cleaning, that's all. <laughs> you're entirely too modest, Willie. Yes, if it hadn't been for Willie, I'd have missed my reading hour last night. I was completely immersed in Plato's Republic when... Here, let me demonstrate. Suddenly, the lamp went out. I remembered everything you would advise me to do in such a crisis. I checked the cord as it was properly inserted. It told me I gave it a resounding whack thus. <laughs> and it didn't work, huh? Then I sent for Willie, and he had it working in no time. Show Hazel how you solved it, Willie. Oh. Like this. It was just a loose bulb. That's all, Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, if I could please have that screwdriver, Mr. Johnson. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, do we have a screwdriver, Harriet? Oh, sure you do. In your tool chest. I'll show you, Willie. Come on. It's good to know where our screwdriver is. <laughs> In the tool chest. Yes. Tomorrow, I shall ask her where the tool chest is. <laughs> Are you sure that little lamb chop is all you want for lunch? It's all I need. I've gained half a pound. Well, I guess when I was your age, I would have worried about a half a pound, too. Now it's just like one extra raindrop in a cloudburst. <laughs> Bang! Oh! I didn't expect you home for lunch. I got a postponement of a case, and I thought I'd drop by. <laughs> Hazel, would you be kind enough to scramble me a couple of eggs? Oh, I'll do even better than that. Maybe I'll warm up some of that stewed chicken.